What is up, everybody? Hope everybody's having a wonderful and blessed uh, day. Much aloha, much aloha to everybody. Um, today, you guys, we're going to be doing a uh, new moon reading. So we're going to be checking uh, new moon energy that's around you, what you need to work on and whatnot, okay? If you guys are not familiar with the new moon, the new moon is going to be here on uh, April the 11th, okay? Sunday, April the 11th. And uh, some a little information that I have here that I uh, googled here. It says um, new moons take place at the very start of the moon cycle. They bring the energy of new beginnings and fresh starts. So astrology, uh, astrologically, this is a good time to plant seeds for a new endeavor. Take the first steps towards a new goal or start manifesting something you want to bring into your life. If you want to uh, find more energy, um, energy. Find more information on the new moons. Go ahead and Google that and educate yourself on that a bit so that you can take advantage of these of uh, the moon cycles and help them work to your advantage. You feel me? OK, so you guys today we're going to be having three groups. The first group is going to be La Corona, the crown, not the other, not the other one, but the crown that goes on top of your head like kings and queens and whatnot. Second group is going to be represented by La Muerte. Third group's gonna be represented by La Mano. All right. So you can pick the crown, you can pick the La Muerte, the skeleton, or death, uh, and the hand. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get right on into La Corona. All right, you guys, if you selected La Corona, this is gonna be a reading. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the energy out for a start. All right, so we're going to be seeing what uh, new moon energy is surrounding you or what you can tap into and what you could, you know, what you should do. Get you some advice and whatnot. OK, so first card out we have is changes for you guys. OK, so changes is telling you to go with the flow. OK, don't you guys may be up against a lot of changes for you guys, even with La Corona going to La Corona. The number one, this is number 47. So simplify that is number 11. So you guys are coming upon a new beginning, a portal of some sort, um, a new phase in your life. OK, um, or the chance to manifest something that you've been trying to manifest, um, manifest some good things in your life. OK, so here we have changes It's telling you to go with the flow. Regardless of how things are looking, you know, things may be a little, I feel for you guys, things may be a little, what do you call it? I don't want to say turbulent, but that's the word that came to my mind. Things emotionally may be a bit turbulent for you guys in this group. You know, it's nothing to be afraid of or scared of or whatever. But um, I'm showing that this is giving me like tower kind of vibes, you know, with the with her falling with the fire and everything too. So this is this telling me that things are changing for the better, like... I'm hearing like old paradigms are being broken down so that you can build new ones. OK, so the advice here, the spirit wants you to know is telling you to go with the flow. Do not resist these changes. Uh, do not be afraid of these changes and to go with the flow. That is the best thing that you could do for yourself uh, to be more comfortable with what's coming up. OK, because I feel I'm hearing out with the old and with the new. OK, if anything was not serving your highest good, it's going to be removed. And, and this is this is a chance for you to remove these things and have a fresh new start for yourself. OK, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's it's time for you to sit on your throne with La Corona. And that's probably why you were drawn to the crown, because it is time for you to sit on your throne. OK, some of you guys have not been living up to your potential. Some of you guys have not been sitting on that throne or you've been shying away from it or some of you may have not been thinking that you are worthy of it or of it or it's something that doesn't that doesn't suit you. But that is you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times when we are born, you know, when we're born into this uh, to this body, to this life, we forget who we were, forget who we are. You know, I'm hearing you need to remember who you are and the universe is working in uh, concert with yourself as well to sit you back upon that throne okay and sometimes we get so comfortable with life with the way that things are that we don't want to change things even if it's even if the situation that we're in currently does not 
uh, server high is good. We don't want to change it because it's something that's different. I'm here and go with the flow. Okay. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, uh, uh, be mad at going with the flow. Okay. After you figure out where things are leading you or where things are going, it says messenger. You got, it says serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. So yeah, there's harmony and balance that is coming into your life. Okay. Some of you guys may also be receiving downloads. You may be receiving, receiving messages, uh, psychic messages, um, a number of things. Okay. I'm just hearing downloads, downloads in, in, in crown chakra and even with throat chakra. This is saying what you really want. This is setting those clear intentions uh, out into the universe and then be being ready to take action when it's time for you to take action. Okay. I'm hearing that once you do that, once you stand in your power and say what it is that you want and then go for it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bring more harmony and balance into your life. And that's what you need, okay? Because like I said, I feel that a lot of us in this group have not been living like kings and queens. You know what I'm saying? Have not been putting ourselves on that on that throne to live like a king or a queen, you know, however that resonates for you in your life. It says new moon in Pisces. You guys have new moon in Pisces. You may have um, uh, Pisces in your chart somewhere. If not... Um, Look up the characteristics of that Pisces brings also for the new moon, and that might give you some, some more insight on things as well. But it says meditate and contemplate. You guys need to meditate and uh, receive these downloads that are coming to you, okay? If you're not, like, quieting your mind, take having some alone time, this is going to be the, the, the best time for you to uh, quiet your mind so that you're able to receive these downloads, and so that you're able to 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 take the guidance that you're being um, given at this time, okay? Because I feel that some of you guys are just caught up in your day-to-day -day lives and you're not like, you're cutting yourself off from the flow. That's why it's telling you to go with the flow. Okay, I'm hearing. You got a narrow pathway. It says tread thoughtfully. It's, yeah, tread thoughtfully in what, you, what you're doing because <laughs> this is what I'm getting for you guys, okay? You guys got two options, especially with this tower moment vibe, tower moment vibes that we're getting from changes. You can either tread thoughtfully, you know, get those, do the work that you need to do, set your clear intentions, release the old and look forward and move forward in life and keep moving forward, regardless of how it looks, regardless of how scary things might look. Uh, some of you guys may have an issue with changes, you know? You might not like, you might not be comfortable with things changing, but if you take that path, you will not be sorry at the end. But if you don't take the path, I feel that you may be sorry because you may miss out on opportunities. You may miss out on things that were meant for you to receive uh, and meant for you to have, okay? We got the face. Yeah, this is something that is faded for you. You're faded for some sort of success. This is something that is divinely guided. You know, this is some, uh, what do you call it? Um, this is this is up to also divine timing. So things are happening right now for you, to you, or for you, for a reason, okay? These changes are flowing in for a reason because it's meant for you to go with the flow so that you can take your throne and do whatever it is that is meant for you to do, you know? Whether it is meant for you to lead people, whether it is meant for you to help yourself out of certain situations and put you into a more positive uh, situations for yourself, whatever it is, it's, it's this is destined for you. This is your destiny. This is something that is, is meant to happen for you. But it's just up to you whether or not you are going to go down that path, whether or not you're going to open yourself up to the flow, whether or not you are going to ride that flow out of here to on your path into some sort of destiny that was just made just for you you know and i feel that it's it's an upgrade it's a level up in some sort of way whether it be materially spiritually emotionally wh whatever way it is it's an upgrade for you okay i'm getting you have um ninth house energy this talks about spiritual growth okay we're just talking about whether it's it's material uh emotional spiritual so i thought you guys are definitely headed towards uh, spiritual growth right now in your life okay I feel you guys are leveling up spiritually, and that is going to help you overall. Once you have this, these spiritual upgrades, you know, fully active in your life, you will find that you'll be able to bring in more harmony, more balance in all areas of your life, okay? This is giving you the power 
are giving you the knowledge that you need to make the necessary changes in your life to create the type of life and environment that you want to create for yourself. Okay, that's why I'm saying go with the flow. You know, don't fight this because it's you. You, the divine is trying to put you, sit you up on that 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 throne. You know, and the more you fight it, the more you just make stuff complicated for yourself. You know, so just. Make sure that you're going with the flow, okay? Some of you guys may be afraid of this. Some of you guys may be dealing with some deep-seated phobias that you may have. You may be afraid of taking uh, leadership roles. You may be afraid of speaking your mind. You may be afraid of being heard for uh, what it is that you want, you know? You may be afraid of all that. You may be afraid of the spotlight being on you. You may be afraid of spirituality and your spiritual growth and what that would entail and what that's going to bring into your life. You may be afraid of it. But I'm hearing that all that needs to change because who you are, who you are destined to be, is not in alignment with phobias, with, with being afraid, with, with living in a state of fear. You know, you guys are kings and queens, emperors and empresses. You, it's time for you to put your crown on and it's time for you to, to walk into your own destiny, whichever way that meant, that's meant to play out in your life. Okay. The spirit team message we have here is never throw your pearls before swine. You guys, you guys in this group um, may have not given yourself the credit that you deserve in your life, okay? Like I said, you guys are kings, queens, emperors, empresses, whatever you resonate with. And you may have been accepting things that were not up to the level that you should be accepting things, right? Accepting relationships that were not on that higher level. Accepting jobs that were not on that higher level. Accepting mindsets, mind frames, way of thinking, all this stuff that is not on that higher level. Accepting friendships, all types of relationships that were not on that higher level. So it's time for you to see the king, queen, or whatever that you are, and walk in that and fully embody it and own it, you know? Because you guys are destined for that. That's your path. That's your that's your that's your destiny, you know? So walk in that and don't accept less than you deserve, you know? So that's what I got for you guys for this group for the new moon energy. Okay, if you like it, if it resonated in any kind of way, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Much love and light to you guys. I thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully this brings you uh, some much needed like motivation and some positivity in your life, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, ciao. All right, if you guys selected La Muerte, the death, it's gonna be your reading. We're gonna be seeing what new moon energy is coming in for you that you should be taking advantage of, okay? So the first card out we have is authenticity, okay? This is telling you that it's time, excuse me, that it's time for you to be free, to be who you are, be your authentic self. It doesn't matter what you're into, uh, what you like, uh, how you vibe, or whatnot like you may have hobbies that are different from other people you may have passions that are different from other people you know that are not a part of the uh what do you call it the mainstream society you know some of you guys may be on spiritual paths that may not be in alignment with what the mainstream stream society considers normal you know some of you guys may be you know, the leaders the light workers here the ones who uh Help people to uh, or teach people how to stand up for themselves, you know, to instill strength, you know, and help people walk in their power. You know, whatever it is that you guys are doing, it says be free to be who you are. You know, with this new moon energy, you're being advised to walk in your truth, be your true, authentic self. And don't let nobody stop you, you know, from speaking your mind. Don't let nobody stop you from walking the path that you're meant to walk on. OK. OK. Or pursuing the things that you want to pursue, okay? La muerte is number 14, so that's number 5 simplified down. So there's definitely talking about something that needs to change, okay? You need to let your old self die. And you need to uh, let your true self, who you are now, today, in this present time, come forth. And speak and sing your own song and sing its own, own song, you know? Like, don't dim your light, I'm hearing for people. And don't change yourself so that anybody is just because just to make other people feel comfortable, you know. We have here Star Brothers. 
This is Horus energy, protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. So you guys are being protected during this time as well, okay? Uh, you guys may be also partnering with other people, your brothers and sisters who are on the same page as you. You may be meeting kindred souls as well, you know, who will also offer you a certain level of protection and loyalty as well and safety and trust. This is finally partnering with people who actually are good for you, you know? I feel that this group, you guys may have been used to people just coming in and out of your life, uh, not being of value, not being not being genuine, not having your back really, not really uh, developing anything that is of a genuine nature, you know? This is like saying that it is time for you to open up and connect with people who are on your same path, who want the same things that you want, who vibrate at the same frequency that you're vibrating at, you know? This is, this is your, your brothers and your sisters, your, your soul fam, your soul tribe, all that stuff, okay? And and don't um, don't be afraid to open yourself up to meet new people. Don't be afraid to open yourself up to uh, making new connections because you are protected, you know? And you're safe to, you are safe to uh, explore new connections with people, okay? We got adjustments are required, third quarter moon. So yeah, this is telling you that the old way that you've been doing things, it's time for you to change it. Because I feel that some of you guys in this group may be introverts, or you may be cut off, you may have walls up and keeping people out. Now it's time for you to um, balance that introvertedness with a little uh, extrovertedness, and also let the walls down so that you could let these people who are waiting to come into your experience come in. Because I feel that you guys have a a song to sing you guys have a story to tell you have lessons to teach you know you've been through a lot you've experienced a lot you've learned a lot so now it's time for you to give back you know to people to help them to help people as well navigate through life navigate through spiritual their spiritual journeys as well you know uh let's see what else we got we got fellow yo exactly what i was talking about with star brothers fellow travelers i did not look at these cards beforehand this is so this is awesome <clears throat> It says support is all around you. Yeah, you guys are safe because support is all around you. You got people, fellow tra travelers who are here to help you, who are here to walk this path with you, you know? And that is where your safety is coming from. That is where your support is coming from. Is any If anybody's attacking you guys, if people are telling you you can't be who you are yourself and whatever, you got a support team. You got a support group. I'm not saying that you should be leaning on other people to help you out. No, but I'm saying that you're going to have that added extra protection that's going to help guide you forward or that's going to protect you in the time that you need to be protected you know what i'm saying we got tiktok this is still talking about like this is something that's being divinely guided towards you all right and i'm feeling i'm hearing when i first saw this card i heard like it's time you know it's time to uh to change things it's time for your life to change it's time for the way that you interact with other people to change if you've been that kind of person to where you've always been the type that um kept to yourself or kept yourself quiet and protected it's time for you to open up and allow other people to come into your experience as well because they need they need to experience um your gifts as well you know and you need to experience something from them as well you know you guys have second house energy here as well. So this is talks about physical security. It's physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth. Yeah, so I'm getting the fact that you're moving it more so in the time to where you not only have physical protection in 3D, you have um you know uh spiritual protection around you as well okay because it's it's you i feel that you guys have been through a lot you guys have been through a lot of ridicule people talking crap about you people misunderstanding you you've been through a lot of trash and garbage so now it's time for you guys to actually have that protection on this earth when you're going through your spiritual experience that you need you know you guys have been out here on the battlefields alone so now you're not going to be alone okay you're not going to be alone. You guys are moving to more uh, secure uh, space in your time to where you will be able to, if you need material possessions, if you need to uh, acquire things materially, if you need to earn more money, you'll be able to do that. You know, you'll be vibrating towards that. If you need a place to live, you'll be vibrating towards getting a place to live. You'll be, you just moving into more of a place of uh, security for yourself. And this is with, um, 
appreciating uh, the material things that we have or that we need. You know, this is coming out of a lack mentality as well for some people. And also understanding that um, a part of your spiritual journey, it is also experiencing the material world as well. You know, that's a part of your journey as well. And it's not to shy away from it or not to cut it off, you know. And that also includes making money, earning money, because the more money you earn, the more money you make, the more you're able to fully focus on your spiritual journey, uh, on your job. Some of you guys may even be light workers. You're able to focus on that, too. You're able to focus on um, doing the work or that you're meant to do here or or uh, accessing or coming across the people that you're meant to come across and affecting them in a positive way or uplifting them as well. You know, you'll be able to, you, you'll be able to do that, you know, with more security in your life. Okay. So never feel that it's a bad thing to earn more money, a bad thing to receive money from people. I, I, I'm hearing that some of you guys have issues with receiving, you know, receiving gifts, receiving blessings, whatever it is, let people bless you. More people are going to be coming into your life who are going to want to dig into their pockets and bless you. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, let because that makes them feel good for doing that. That might be what they're meant to do here to help you with as well. So allow people to do that. Right. And allow yourself to feel worthy. You know, allow yourself to feel worthy of abundance. Allow yourself to feel worthy of having love and support around you, you know. And not having to experience uh, haters and, you know, well, we always might experience haters, but not having that be like a, a, such a prominent experience in your life. Haters and people who don't support you, people who are not on the same page as you, people who are not genuine. This is time for you to to experience more security in your life. OK, we have renewal. Yeah, you guys are up for a renewal. OK. This full moon energy for you is going to be one of renewal. It is time for, and I'm hearing out with the old and with the new. It is time for you, a new you to be born, a new part of yourself, you know, because we're all multifaceted beings, a part of yourself to be renewed, you know, and this is you coming, having a fresh new brand, a brand new start to create the kind of experience you want to create for yourself. Okay. And to actually reinvent yourself as well for some of you guys. And also to experience different ways of living, ex experience different ways of life, you know, not always doing the same thing over and over, not having that same routine, not just being around the same people over and over and not necessarily evolving. This is this is about expansion as well. This is about you stepping outside of your comfort zone. This is about other people coming in and making you feel comfortable enough to step outside of your comfort zone. OK, this is having those people around you who, who are moral support, you know, who will comfort you during that time and make things a little easier for you as well. And I feel that a lot of you guys need that as well. OK, um, we have you are no one's option. OK, yeah, you are. You are somebody that is valuable. OK, and I feel that in the past, you guys may have come across people who just treated you like options, just treated you like, you know, I got better friends than you. So I'm going to I'm just going to go hang out with them or I got better love partners than you so i'm just gonna go go with somebody else you know what i'm saying stuff like that you are nobody's options you know you are a valuable person it's just that those people didn't see your true value you know you guys are more valuable than these people made you feel you know you are more worthy than these people made you feel it's just because they were not they didn't have the mental or the spiritual capacity to really see your true value and your true nature that's their issue. That's their problem. You know what I'm saying? It's shame on them, you know, but you are nobody's option. You are number one, you know, first and foremost, you're number one in your own life. OK, and you stepping into that power. More people are going to see you, see your value and see how much of a benefit you are to people's lives. You know, I feel you guys may even start changing people's lives as well. You're moving into a more a role of leadership to where you're able to guide people and you're able to to help them see the light, help them have more self-worth within themselves and help them um, foster relationships that are more genuine and have them have more security and safety and trust in their lives as well. You know, but that's what I got for you guys for this group. OK, good luck with this uh, new moon energy as well. Much love and light to you guys. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. 
And much love and light you guys. Take care. Ciao. All right, so guys, if you selected La Mano, this is going to be your reading. Okay. Let's see what new moon energy is for you. It's coming up for you. Okay. All that you could work through. We have acceleration. Okay. We got some of y'all being activated because it says, uh, excuse me, your powers are being increased. Okay. So you guys may be leveling up and uh, spiritually. Okay. This is coming into. Um, uh, having certain spiritual gifts being activated, you know, mind you, when it, when things are being activated, it's not going to be full on activated. You got to learn and you got to, you know, uh, develop it and it's going to continue to grow. You know what I'm saying? So don't expect something. Don't expect to wake up and be, be able to fly. You know what I'm saying? But just be realistic here and just like know that your powers, your, your spiritual gifts, you know, whatever the spiritual gifts are for you. And um, they're being activated, you know, they're being increased. OK, you guys may also um, uh, see an increasement in the gifts that you already have. Let's say if you're intuitive, that may be heightened, turned up. I mean, OK, let's say if you're clear, sentient, clairvoyant, clear, whatever that those things may be heightened and turned up and increased for you as well. I know that it may be kind of scary when things are amplified like that, but I'm hearing you got it. You okay? Because you got help that's around you. That's going to help you ease into these uh, new heightened uh, powers that you have or new heightened uh, a leveling up or an increase increasing of your, uh, your gifts. Okay. I feel that you guys have, uh, people around you too who may be able to help you if you ask for the help so i'm hearing ask for the help too if you need it you know don't stay in silence don't go through this in silence if you're confused about it if there's people around you who can help you you know ask them for help you know people are going to be more or more so open to you at the during this time as well you know because those who are meant to help you are going to say yes and help you yeah um and you may also be receiving help from the spiritual realms as well to help you um, recalibrate and help you ease into this new uh, way of life and allowing you to fully take advantage of this of these heightened spiritual gifts for yourself so that you you know, so that it won't be overwhelming for you as well. We got lost land, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. So, yeah, I feel that with this um acceleration that you're going to be receiving or, or going through it's going to feel like you are like a fish out of water like you are in a new neighborhood that you've never been in and a new country that you've never been in and for some it may even be like a new world that you've never been in before okay but what spirit is telling you that you've been here before you've done this before this is nothing new to you it may feel new to you right now but it once you tap in and you get in alignment with um, a spiritual higher self and whatnot, or your spirit team, you'll I'm hearing you'll you'll start remembering things. OK, and when I say remembering things, I, I'm, I'm referring to more so you'll feel at ease. OK, you will feel at ease with the changes, the energetic changes, the spiritual changes. Uh, that you are going through and the shifts that you're going through. Okay, this is a new start for you, and I think it's a beautiful new start. And it's one of, and it's an, it's an empowering new start for you as well. Okay, so we have full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a pl practical plan. Okay, so there may be, um, I'm feeling that there's going to be light drawn on things that you dreams that you have, right? Something that you've always wanted to manifest, something that you've always wanted to achieve, but you've never really given it a fully thought, like how you're gonna achieve it, you know? Um, that's just like wanting a million dollars, but never really working out or even taking the steps to figuring out how you might receive that. I know not everything is meant for you to 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 uh, to know, but this is more so like um, you setting goals for yourself or actually taking the time and setting these practical plans for yourself to achieve your dreams. And I feel that this is going to be an advantageous time for you because why? Because your powers are being increased. Now you're able to tap, you will be able to tap more so into your intuitive knowledge 
cosmic knowledge, you know, being able to communicate with spirit, your spirit team and whatnot. If you're if you resonate with that and you'll be able to get those downloads and you'll be able to get those symbols and that information that you need, that's going to help you set those plans, help you uh, write down or, or, or have the right steps in your mind. That's going to help you to manifest those dreams or bring those dreams from the 5D to the 3D, you know. Let's see what else we got for you guys here. We have unknown territory. Yeah, you guys are walking with these with this with this upgrade, with this glow up. You guys are. Um, I'm, here, I'm, I'm hearing healing hands as well for somebody healing hands, Reiki, uh, transmuting negative energy for somebody as well. Trans transmuting that negative energy into positive energy as well. But this is unknown territory for you guys. This is something that is like unknown, like it's kind of like scary. Like I said before, uh, it may it may seem a little uh, scary for you, nerve wracking. And that's normal because it's anything that's new. You don't know what to expect. You don't know what you're going to see. You hear, you hear stories about people saying, Oh my God, when you open your third eye, I saw all kind of stuff and I was scared. I couldn't sleep and blase, blase, da, 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 whatever, you know, that I'm not saying that that's not going to happen for some people, but I'm not saying that it is going to happen for people either, you know, but I'm hearing that you got your soul fan behind you. You got uh, helping hands around you so it's not going to be crazy for you it's not going to be something that is like a uh, part of the sci-fi for you you know it's going to be something that you're going to be able to to gradually ease through and gradually build on and, and, and to get yourself acclimated to this new way of living for yourself okay but know that these things that are happening for you right now is were meant to happen for you right now, right? You're exactly where you're in need, where you need to be, okay? This is unknown territory says you are exactly where you need to be. So this is not happening just uh, by accident, right? This is by design and it's meant for you to do this. So I'm, I'm here and go with the flow. Don't sabotage anything and just keep going, keep moving forward, okay? We got truth be told. This is you taking that mask off and being your true authentic self, okay? You guys may be into spirituality or you may have these gifts and you may think that people around you are going to think these gifts are crazy. You're crazy. What the hell are you talking about? How is that even possible? Blase, 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 blase. But who cares? No one cares. The number on this card is number 14. Simplified down is number five. You need to change the way you're thinking. Change your outlook. Don't worry about what other people think about you and your path and your divine, what, the path that you were divined on, your destiny. Don't worry about that. You are free to remove that mask and be your true authentic self. Even if people find it weird, even if people think that you're crazy, even if people think that what you're experiencing is impossible, it, that shit don't matter. It doesn't matter at all. What matters is as long as you're being true to yourself, you're expressing your true authentic self and you're following your true and authentic path that was set out for you. That's what matters the most, not whether or not somebody else, Joe Blow down the streets, whether they understand what you're going through because they're on their own path. They're on their own timeline, right? They may not be on the same level as you, you know? They may not be at the same place that you are spiritually. That's okay. That's fine, you know? Some things aren't meant for everybody to know. You know, we not we're not meant to know everything that there is to know either. All you need to know is, is that you know you are free to focus on what you need to focus on during this time. That's it. Period. You have a Scorpio energy here, intensity, exposing, purging. Wow. Okay. So yeah. So you guys, things are gonna get yo. Things are getting ready to to to, to level up and spice up for you guys. Like I said. Things are going to start intensifying. Your spiritual gifts are going to be intensifying. And, and it could be kind of scary for you guys, okay? So just know that this is happening for a good reason and you can handle it. Because if you couldn't, you wouldn't have them. You wouldn't have those spiritual gifts. You wouldn't be receiving this upgrade. You wouldn't be receiving this leveling up, which which is what how I see it, you know? Uh, and this is you. It talks about exposing. This is you allowing, letting those... Letting those gifts out, you know what I'm saying? Don't not hiding your special gifts that you have. You know what I'm saying? Letting them out, letting them run free, expressing yourself however you want to express yourself, purging yourself of um old ways of thinking, of people who don't serve your highest goods. Cause 
when you level up, if a person cannot accept you for that, like if let's say if you, you start walking on a spiritual path or you you say that, OK, yeah, I am clear, whatever, you know, I'm owning it and this is what I am. And people think you're crazy. If they think you're crazy, then toss them to the curb because maybe they're not meant for you anyways. You know what I'm saying? Because the ones who are meant for you will not think you're crazy. The ones who are meant for you will not oppose your dreams. You know, the ones who are meant for you will help you with your dreams, will support you bring those dreams to life, you know, that's what, that, that's what support really is. It's not like coming to try to battle you, coming to try to tell you you're wrong, coming to try to tell you X, Y, Z, BS, you know, it's people that support you and, and it's time, it's going to be time for you that if people cannot support you, cannot support your life decisions, cannot support your life path, it's time for you to let them go. Because more people are going to be rushed. Once you free that energy up, the right ones are going to start coming in. The right ones, you're leveling up. There's going to be people on your same frequency who understand you, who are not going to look at you like you're a three-headed dog. You know what I'm saying? And this is a renewal for you. This is a, a rebirth for you, a transformation for you. Things are changing. Yeah, we said that here. Things are changing with number, with number 14, okay? Energy, tap into that energy, okay? I feel there's this energy vibe whole thing. <clears throat> Yo, energy is about to change for you guys, okay? You're going to be feeling other people's energy. It's just going to change. So make sure that you are drinking a lot of water. Make sure that you are eating the right foods. Make sure that you are exercising your body. If you need to get exercise, uh, need to get um, massages, I'm hearing get massages. Um, if you need a long time, take that a long time meditate do all the things that you need to do to calm your body down because you may be a little uh irritable once it starts happening because the same thing happened to me too to where uh i had an increase to an energetic increase as well and i will tell you that when you go through those in energetic increases you start seeing the truth people like you start seeing people's true face right it's not the most pleasant thing because those ones that you thought were there for you 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 may start to realize that they're not there for you, like how you need them to be, how you want them to be. You may find out that they now annoy you. You know, they now irritate you because you guys are energetically off balance. You know, they may be, you vi you're vibing at different frequencies and this person may not be meant to go to the next phase with you. A lot of, sometimes what, what, what happens to you subconsciously is that when you know somebody, you've outgrown a person, when, you, when you've energetically outgrown a person and it's time for you to move forward and move up and beyond and keep moving on and to partner with different people along your path, along your journey, who's more so of your spirit tribe, your, your soul tribe, your soul family, you get irritated with, with people when they're on the same. It's kind of like you graduated to the next grade and they're still in that same grade talking about the same stupid shit. And you're just like, no. I've leveled up. I'm moving on. I'm, 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 I'm evolving. I'm learning these life lessons and I'm moving forward. I don't want to sit here and talk to you about shit that we learned three, four or five years ago. You know, so I feel that it's going to bring a, a level of irritability to you guys, too, with certain people, with certain places, certain things. Go with the flow because you're going to be feeling those feeling those vibes and those feelings for a reason, because that will be a compass or an alarm to let you know that, hey, this is something that I need to purge from my life. You know, whatever it is, you know? The spirit team message, it says, oh, look, yo. Yo. When I'm shuffling these cards, I do not like really look at them like that. And then when I'm going through this reading, I don't remember anything if I did see anything, but yeah, end what is not right for you guys, okay? You guys are ending out a cycle. End what is not right for you guys. Just it's the same thing what I was just talking about. This That's just confirmation. The same thing. I'm going to leave it right there, you guys. That's what I got for you guys for this group. If you like it, if it resonated in any kind of way, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Much love and light to you guys. Thank you guys so much for everything that you do. I really appreciate you guys. Take care. Ciao.